The Magic Drum Erfiam Duke ruled the kingdom of Calabar. These were the days when a good, friendly feast solved all problems for humans or animals. And Erfiam Duke had the perfect instrument to maintain peace, both within and beyond his kingdom. Dum, 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 my magical drum. Fill the table with taste of sugar, taste of salt. Fill the table with food for all, food for all. And in this way, Duke Erfiam would keep everyone happy, friendly, and delighted. But there is a thing with an object of desire that everyone desires it. If only I had Duke Erfiam's drum, our people would never have to worry whether it rained or not, whether it snowed or not. If only I had Duke Erfiam's drum, I could sleep all day, whether I were hungry or not, whether I were sleepy or not. If only I had Duke Erfiam's drum, I could skip the toil in the field, whether it was sowing time or not, whether it was harvesting time or not. If only I had Duke Erfiam's drum, I could stop cooking, sit and stare all day, whether it was lunchtime or not, whether it was supper time or not. In short, everyone was eyeing Duke Erfiam's drum with envy and longing. But who should get an opportunity to possess it but a hapless little tortoise? It happened like this. Mother! Father! It is such a lovely day! Why don't we go for a picnic? Well, you're always so busy. Why don't you take this one day off and come with us? Ah, I would love to, but I have to visit a distant village to see the construction of a huge well. And then have a meeting with the traders and also with some foreign diplomats. You go ahead. So the queen and the princess went for their picnic. They sat under just the tree where the tortoise was collecting palm nuts for food. Oh, the pain. If only I had the magic drum, I would order a palm nut pie and palm nut soup and a palm nut salad and feast on it with my family. But here I am. Oh, oh, now I have to go all the way down and pick it up. Oh, where is my nut? What nut? The one I happened to drop down the tree. Oh. I am so sorry, dear tortoise. I thought it just fell from the tree, and I ate it. Oh, my nut. The one I picked with so much pain and effort. Now I shall have to climb all the way up the tree. To get more. <sighs> so sorry, but this was just a mistake. You stole my palm nut, and now the Duke Erfiam will decide what's fair. So the tortoise, along with the queen and the princess, went back to the palace and met the Duke. Ah, return so soon from your picnic. The tortoise insisted on meeting you, so. What's the matter, little one? What can I do for you? The princess stole my palm nut, and now I want justice. It was an honest mistake. We're sorry. Oh, the pain. The long climb up the tree and then coming all the way down to see your palm nut missing, stolen, eaten. <gasps> so, what do you want? What justice will satisfy you? Your magic drum, king. You give me that and I shall forgive the princess for stealing my palm nut. <gasps> All right, you may take the drum. <gasps> really? Yes, here, take it. Now you're the master of it. And there is one more. My children are hungry, I must leave. The tortoise could not believe his luck. He quickly left with the drum lest Duke Erfiam changed his mind. That demand was completely unfair and unreasonable. That demand was the demand of jealousy, greed, and laziness. And it's not just him. There are many others who want the drum. In time, they learned that jealousy, greed, and laziness can never bring good. Father, doesn't the drum have a condition that the owner of the drum cannot walk over a stick or a tree? 
If they do, the juju is broken, and it has to be returned. Ah, uh, you remember, my darling. I wanted to tell this to the tortoise, but he was too much in a hurry to leave with the drum to listen. So the tortoise walked home triumphantly with the magic drum. For days after that, he used the drum, and he and his entire family had the best food they ever wanted. They would just laze around in the sun, waiting for the next meal time. One day, oh, it's a fine day! It would be wonderful to climb up this tree and enjoy the breeze from the top. The tortoise started to climb, but he just could not. <laughs> <laughs> how dare he? I'll teach these folk how to laugh at me. Go ahead and invite everyone in the forest for a feast. When they see all the wonderful delicacies from the drum, they will know how to show me respect. So invitations were sent out throughout the forest. Oh, I can barely walk. I've eaten so much at the tortoise's feast. And such delicious food, too. Oh, it was wonderful. Now the tortoise became even more arrogant. And one day, as the tortoise was lazing around in the garden, a twig fell from a tree. When mealtime came and the tortoise had to go home, he stepped over the twig and the juju of the drum was broken. When he commanded the drum, Dum, 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 my magical drum. Fill the table with taste of sugar, taste of salt. Fill the table with food for all, food for all. The Egbo men, the guardians of the drum, came out of it and performed a magic on the tortoise, such that the tortoise found himself flying in the air with the drum so that everyone could see him. The folk of the forest and of the kingdom saw the flying tortoise being chased by the Egbo men, announcing, you have broken the juju, broken the spell, for you hosted a feast with arrogance. So the stick came and over it you stepped. Now for you there is no magic left. Return the drum to the good duke, the true owner, who shared his feast not with arrogance, or selfishness, or laziness, but with love and honor. The tortoise landed before the duke with the drum. All the folk of the kingdom had followed in curiosity to see what would happen. I am sorry. I wanted the drum because I thought it would make me popular and allow me to laze around and not bother with gathering food. But I was so wrong. Please take the drum back. Very well. Since all my subjects are here, is there anyone else who wants the drum? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good duke, all of us have wanted the drum only out of laziness and arrogance. We could never be the drum's true owners. Duke, you are the busiest man in the kingdom. And we are ashamed for being such lazy subjects of such a hard-working king. Please, forgive us. I don't agree. Oh, he was a your Highness, you did not tell my father about the stick breaking the juju of the drum. You tricked him. You must make amends for that. Very well. The tortoise has suffered because of his own greed. And if you don't believe me, then fine. I shall gift your father another juju. The king took the tortoise in his private chambers and told him about a tree that would provide all the food for his family if he but asked. Remember, you must not tell anyone about the tree, and you must take all the food from it only once in one day. If you ask for food the second time, the juju will be broken forever. The tortoise began getting the food from the tree. Of course, he didn't tell them where the tree was. His son began to get curious. Where did you get this lovely food from, father? 
I want to throw a feast for my friends. No showing off. I cannot tell you the source of this food as the juju will be broken. And what is it to you anyway as long as we are getting the food we need? But the son wanted to show off the good food to his friends. And so he got a bit of crumpled coal and put it into his father's bag, making a small slit in it. Now as the tortoise walked towards the tree, the coal fell out of the bag, leaving a trail for the son to follow later. Ah, so this is the tree. I want a feast fit for a king for me and my friends. What's going on? The tortoise rushed to the tree. His son was sitting there in despair, and the tree had disappeared. Alas, son, you did not obey me. The tree is gone. Now do you realize that it was your greed and arrogance that broke the juju of the tree, just as mine broke the juju of the magic drum? The tortoise and his family started living in a hole they dug where the roots of the tree would have been to always remind all creatures of the perils of greed and arrogance. Until today, tortoises stay not in homes, but in holes dug in the ground.